Hi, I'm Linky Mare, lifestyle expert and celebrity chef. And today I'm going to show you how to do Mediterranean marinated lamb and shrimp kebabs. It's a gorgeous day, so let's get ready to grill. So what I have here, I've got lots of different Mediterranean flavors, some thyme, some oregano, some rosemary, and we're going to create a great marinade for our lamb and shrimp. So without any ado, let's get started. We're going to start out with olive oil. And you can either use red wine vinegar or you can use red wine. Now the red wine vinegar is gonna help um, tenderize the lamb a little bit. So I'm gonna use that. I've got about two tablespoons chopped up capers. Capers is gonna add a nice little saltiness to it that's irreplaceable. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way so that I have some room to chop. So for our time, we're just gonna kind of roughly chop this. Move that out of the way. And then we have about two tablespoons of rosemary. So the same thing applies to oregano. And oregano is one of those great Mediterranean flavors that's gonna give it a nice earthiness to it. And this is perfect. And these beautiful herbs are ready to go into our marinade. And if you find that it doesn't look like there's enough oil in there, go ahead and add some more. So we're gonna give this a quick little stir. So now that we have our herbs added to it, we're gonna add one clove of garlic to our marinade. And we're gonna add this to the party. And then of course you wanna add some salt. Now remember, you already have the capers in there. Those are slightly salty, so don't over salt. And we're also gonna add some black pepper. And this is where the great cumin flavors come in. You're gonna use some coriander and one of my favorite spices to use, some cumin. And you're gonna give this another quick little stir. And your marinade is ready to go. So now that you have your marinade ready to go, We'll set this aside and we'll get to work on our lamb. Since we're using the Bigger and Egg Firewire, those great little skewers perfect for grilling, we want to make sure that we have about one inch cubes. Now some people like to trim off the fat of lamb, not me. I love that juiciness of the fat incorporated into the lamb, so you can be the judge of that. But we've got our lamb, we're gonna set that apart. We have our shrimp already ready to go. So what I'm gonna do with, in this case is I am going to incorporate some different uh, produce, if you will. I have mushrooms, I have onions, I have tomatoes, and some artichoke hearts. And these artichoke hearts are just straight out of the can. So what we wanna make sure we do is to separate that because the cooking time for the artichoke hearts and the tomatoes are much less than for the lamb and um, the shrimp. So we are gonna do two different skewers. We're gonna start out like I said, we're gonna use the BGE Fire Wire. This thing is great, it's just so big, you can fit a lot of things on here. And we're gonna start our lamb, and we're gonna do shrimp. And you wanna make sure you have jumbo shrimp. We're also gonna do mushrooms. Now, you can either remove the stem part, or you can keep it on there. I like to keep it on there. I think it adds a little bit of rusticness to it some red or purple onions. People debate over whether they're red or purple. So you would just continue this all the way to the top. All right, so once you let it marinate, we're going to go ahead and put this direct heat at 400 on the bigger egg. Four, 450. Add some of those nice marinated flavors on top. All right, so now that our lamb skewers are on the grill, we can go ahead and skewer our tomatoes and artichoke. These are gonna cook much faster, so you wanna wait just a little bit before you put them on. I mean, look at these vibrant colors. This is perfect for summertime. And get your marinade. Mm. 
make sure you get that everywhere. So once you have this ready to go, we're going to check on our lamb and shrimp kebabs. Make sure you burp your egg and you're going to grab some tongs and we're going to flip this around. And at this point, get that out. At this point, what you want to do is you want to just hit it with another little bit of the marinade. If you let it marinate for longer, if you allowed it to marinate overnight or for an hour, all you have to do is maybe hit it with you know, some, some olive oil and we're actually going to add some more salt just to get that nice crust. And we're going to let that go for about three or five minutes, three to five minutes, and then we're going to get the tomatoes and artichoke on. So we're going to add our next skewer of the tomatoes and artichoke. And this is probably going to stay on there for about three to five minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and check my lamb. And like I said, this depends on how cooked you want it. This one is about 134, 135. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Look how rustic, beautiful, perfect that is. And we're going to flip our tomatoes. And depending on the size of your tomatoes, it may go two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Just make sure you keep an eye on it. Once those little skins on the tomatoes just do that first little crack, that's when you know it's ready to go. All right, we're going to check on our tomato and artichokes. And that is perfect. And you'll be able to see how the little skins have started to crack. You can, if you want, you can serve this with orzo or couscous or even some rice. But look what a beautiful presentation that is to impress your guest. So this is my Mediterranean marinated shrimp and lamb kebabs. The recipe is easy, cooked on the Big Green Egg. To find the recipe, go to biggreenegg.com. I'm Linky Mare. Thanks for watching.